my name is Mia, and today we are going to be doing recipe journaling. So for this, you're going to be needing markers, some decorative washi tape, or something to decorate it with, some tabs, markers, and a notebook. I got mine from Goodwill. I don't think they have them because I got them a really long time ago. You're also going to need some paper or envelopes or anything to kind of decorate your journal, make it look pretty. Some images of the recipes that you're going to be putting in your journal. I got these stickers from the dollar store, but you can just use anything. And finally, you're going to need some recipes. So let's get started. So right now I'm cutting out the images of the food I'm going to be putting in my recipe journal. So I got my images all cut out, and I'm going to be doing some watercolor painting for each category. So I was going to start with the waffle, but then I decided to start with the lettering first, and I misspelled smoothies because I was trying to get my lettering perfect. So I just covered it up with some craft paper and then wrote over it with some white gel pen. I think it still turned out pretty good. And now I'm going to be doing a watercolor painting of a waffle. You can kind of see it in the left hand corner. I was hungry so I brought down a waffle and then it just came to me to paint a waffle. I've never really painted food before but I think it turned out pretty good. It was kind of satisfying to try to paint something realistic. These recipe journals could also make really great gifts for grandparents or other people who have really disorganized recipe book. So that's my waffle and then I just pasted it in and I'm going to actually start with the recipes. So I started off with my homemade waffles. I found this recipe on Pinterest but you can find your recipes anywhere. A lot of my recipes were handed down or are our family members that I get from my grandparents anytime we go there. So I just like writing down recipes and cooking them for my family. So basically all I do is I paste on the image, have an ingredients and a directions, and then I just put down all my ingredients and then the directions and then I make it look pretty. And now I have my smoothie section and I have pineapple strawberry smoothie and a pineapple smoothie and then I just did a little drawing of a pineapple smoothie. So now I'm going to be starting off on my lunch spread category thing. So I got this idea to do a juice box because it's kind of like a school lunch thing. And now I'm just writing down a quote that says happiness is homemade and then I did a little rolling pin doodle and colored that in with watercolor. Now this is my tortilla soup re recipe, and I like this one. I think it turned out really cool with the white on top of the black kind of look. So and then I just have the ingredients, directions, and then for tortilla soup, we usually serve it with some sort of chips, so I just put that as a little note at the bottom. So now I'm doing my dinner section. I'm just doing a watercolor painting of a family dinner we have a lot of the times, which is either pork chops or steak, and then some really thin sliced grilled potatoes and grilled asparagus. So I just thought that would be a really fitting dinner watercolor painting for my spread. Now I'm getting on to the recipes, and this is a chicken pot pie recipe. I get a lot of my recipes from my grandparents. Now I'm moving on to my dessert section. I didn't record all of the recipes I did in my dessert section because there was a lot of them and I was getting really tired. So I just painted a 
cake slice, watercolor, and then I pasted it in and wrote desserts. And then I had a quote that says, I need cake because Monday. Hello everyone, I'm going to be doing my final recipe journal flip through. I'm so glad to have this done. It took a really long time, but I think it turned out great. Can't wait for you to see it. Let's get into the flip through. This is the first page and it's future recipes. In here, I'm just gonna put sticky notes of recipes that I'll make into full pages in the future. And then I have a category for breakfast and smoothies. I do not have very many recipes for breakfast, but we do use these recipes a lot. These are my smoothies. And then I have about five to eight pages between each category that isn't being used, so I can put recipes in in future times. I only had soups for lunch. I probably could have made it a soup section instead of having a lunch section, but yeah. This is my dinner category, and I just have a quote that says, people who like to eat are always the best people. Thought that was a great quote. The dinner section was my favorite section because it had my favorite recipes that we and my family eat all the time. This is the dessert section and I just have a watercolor painting of a cake and a quote that says, I need cake because Monday. These are my two sugar cookie recipes, well actually my uncle's and mine. Uh, monster cookie recipes, peanut butter cups, prince silk pie, salted peanut rolls, scotcheroo, microwave mug cake, and buttercream frosting. I did put the banana bread and zucchini bread in here. No, they're not desserts, but they needed a place. So I still haven't put the zucchini bread recipe, but I'll have to find a place for that next time. I did find most of my recipes from my family and ones that have been passed down. Otherwise, some of them are on Pinterest, so you can find them there. Thank you guys for watching. Hope to see you next time. Make sure you like and subscribe.